Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions and today I wanted to talk to you about Power Apps licensing model. There's some changes coming up. I want to teach you a couple more things about managing your licenses for both the user plan and the app plan. Now if you want to use a premium connector with Power Apps uh, that includes things like SQL or the Dataverse, you have to have a premium license capacity of Power Apps. Uh, there's two different options. Uh, there's a per user plan, which was $40 per user per month, but Microsoft will be dropping it to $20 per user per month starting October 1st. Now this is in US dollars. Uh, the Power Apps per app plan will be dropped also at 50% from $10 per user per month to $5 per user per month. So this is huge. Uh, this is, gives a lot more people uh, the capacity to have more users using Power Apps Premium license model. Um, additionally, they are uh, doing uh, promotional offers to be extended. So for people who are eligible, uh, they do have currently available $12 per user per month and $3 per uh, user, the app plan. Now this is um, under conditions that apply. Uh, you'll have to contact Microsoft. So you can visit the website that Microsoft has for you or contact their sales team to talk about this. Uh, they also have uh, additional login capacities for Power App portals. Uh, I will put this uh, link in the description of the video. So other than the changes, I just wanted to talk to people about a few gotchas. So in Power Apps, depending on if you are in the commercial version, GCC or GCC High or the DoD, uh, there are different URLs depending on which environment you belong to. So commercial version, you know, you go to makepowerapps.com or create.powerapps.com. And then we also have the GCC URLs and then also the GCC High and DoD. Now this also is included in the admin center of Power Apps or your Power Platform admin center. So normally, most people will go to the commercial version of admin uh, powerplatform.microsoft. Um, for me, I, I do work in the GCC, so I do go to the GCC admin power platform microsoft.us. And same thing for GCC High and the DoD. So that's just one big gotcha. Now, for Power Apps per user, um, if you're going to be creating a Power App or if you're going to be using the Power App, you have to have one of these licenses. That's another gotcha that people don't realize. Um, another thing is the per app per plan. So let's say you did three apps, you know, you can have one user who takes up three of these per app uh, plan licenses and it, they will be ch you'll be charged $15 per month. So you don't have to switch to the per user plan until you have four power apps that you are using that use the premium licensing capacity per user. So th there has to be one user out there who's using four power apps with the premium license capacity before you really need to switch to the power app per user plan. That's a Another thing is you can share your Canvas app with guest users. Let's say you have a user that has a Power Apps license and a different tenant. Well, you can give them access to your Power App with the premium license capacity because they already have it in another tenant and they can then get to your Power App uh, as long as they have a license in another tenant. So you can share with guest access. Uh, you can see, you know, they can only be assigned, there's some limitations here. You can only be assigned a user role. They can't be a co-owner. Um, there's some other things in here too, but you can have guest access to your Power Apps as long as they have a premium license in another tenant. If you wanted to assign per user plans of Power Apps or Power Automate, this is done in the admin center of your tenant. So that's very simple. But if you wanted to assign per app plan licenses, well, you don't assign it in the admin center at all. Actually, the per app plans are actually called add-ons, okay? So in order to assign per app plans, what you're gonna do is you're gonna first purchase per app plans. You're not gonna assign them in the admin center. Uh, you can manage them in your Power Platform portal, right? But there, there's a little trick right now that Microsoft isn't really telling you, they're kind of quiet about it, right? And I don't know why they would do this, but if you go here and you check 
actually, if you check in their, their tech doc, they're going to say, when will I be able to see the list of users who are using per apps licenses? Right now, you can't see them. You can only see a tally, a number count. You'll only see, you know, 99 out of 100 used. You only see, you know, three out of however many you purchased used. You're, you actually can't see who's assigned those licenses. Now, Microsoft is quiet about that. They're going to be updating that soon. Now, if you were to want to con see your consumption, right, you would go to your Power Platform Admin Center. And I showed you the URL earlier. This is my developer tenant, so I really don't have anything down here. But you would see it in the add-on section. You would see how many of your licenses were used and what's the capacity. The way that you assign per app licenses is a little bit different. You don't do it in the admin center. First, you have to buy your capacity, right? But then you go into your app and you go into settings. In the settings, once you've bought these uh, capacity, this setting right here, I want to make sure you can see it. This setting right here, the pass assignment, it will then be allowed. So once you, I, I have a developer tenant, so I haven't actually bought any of these, but it will auto assign per apps passes when people log in. And so you'll manage your capacity in your Power Platform Center, but you won't be able to see who has them. In order to remove a license from a user, you have to unshare the app unshare the app with that user so you would go into your your app and you would do your share and you would see the users that are are assigned to it and you would remove them and that will remove one of your app passes i know this was a lot of information and microsoft likes to change the licensing model rather quickly but i just wanted to update you number one power apps is getting cheaper number two you can't see who has your per app plans uh, you do assign it by capacity and they are auto assigned. Your per user plans are assigned inside your admin center. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. On October 1st, uh, Power Apps is going to get cheaper. So everyone who's developing, this is great for us. This is going to create more jobs. More people are going to come into Power Apps. So actually, good job on this Microsoft. Thank you guys for watching.